Good day. Welcome to my studio. Atelier Avant-Garde. This is where I create my large abstract works. And today I plan to talk to you about what art is and give you a critique of pop art or its current manifestation, postmodern art. Specifically for me, art is real actions that revolutionize conventional standards, specifically conventional museum practice, and more importantly, our aesthetic standards. I'll begin by giving you my critique of pop art. For me, pop art is, although a beautiful art form, there are some beautiful images there, it lacks substance. And what I mean by this, it's not a challenging art form. It panders to a mass audience. Okay, if you go back in the in the past, let's say a Marcel Duchamp, a Jackson Pollock, Monet, their works were in fact in the beginning quite uh, contrary to aesthetic tastes of the time. What you had there was a new uh, definition of art. And with pop art, it's the opposite. It was accepted quite easily. It doesn't try to challenge you. It wants to be commercial and that's it. It wants to be uh, as easily tradable, as easily circulated as money. And for that reason, it's divorced or it's disinvested of any challenging aspects to our aesthetic taste, our conventional standards, or our modern museum practices. We, we can't forget that Andy Warhol never created an original image of his own. He took images from other places and simply reintroduced them in a frivolous, trivial way, more or less as kitsch. What pop art, and in a lot of ways postmodern art, tries to be is kitsch to be uh, frivolous, to be without substance, simply to entertain the viewer. And in contrast, someone like Marcel Duchamp, his artwork, although accepted now to a certain extent, was quite confrontational at the time. It went counter museum practice and accepted aesthetic taste, aesthetic standards of the time. For example, like a piece like the urinal, you have a real action there where he took a urinal and put it in a museum context, which radically changed the way we think about art. In contrast to pop art, in contrast to Duchamp, here you see uh, the division between a minor art form and a major art form. A major art form will always challenge your acceptable moral values of what aesthetic taste should be. So color realism is essentially about the notion that art is real actions that revolutionize conventional standards. Take for example this painting here. This painting is called Democracy. Well, democracy has many, many variations. There are many ways to interpret the concept of democracy viewing this artwork will see his own ideas of what democracy is. Pure abstract painting is the only style that's able to encompass all sorts of perspectives and this is what this painting does. Think of Joe's notion of the cultural mosaic, that a democracy should be a cultural mosaic because that's what pure abstract, in, uh, abstract art is. It's a mosaic of colors without differentiations. So what the title does is that it points you in this particular direction and I hope that the viewer will see his own version of democracy. Good art will tend to be very insular at first, hence why it's so con controversial. It requires the viewer to make a greater leap in order to embrace this new art form. While pop art does the work for you, it, it grovels at the feet of the masses for acceptance. It will give the masses exactly what it wants. That's why 
it's a minor art form. So in conclusion, that art is real actions that revolutionize conventional standards, i.e. conventional museum practices and aesthetic standards.